It's Madden NFL 24, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the Baltimore Ravens, and it comes your way next. With Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance, we are inside m and Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. Today, we've got a fun AFC matchup on tap as it'll be the L.A. Chargers taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Kicker, that's Cameron Dicker, set to get us started. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. Returning at Justice Hill. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Ravens offense going to work, and as usual, it's Lamar Jackson, the former MVP of the league, at the helm. And he remains the league's premier rushing threat and one of the biggest playmakers in one quarterback. His goal each and every season, continue to expand his game as a passer and become well-rounded. All those highlight reel plays you see, they come off the fact that he can run it, throw it, and scares defenses every time he takes a snap. They begin the drive with Hill. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. We knew both of these safeties were good in run support, but how about the play we just saw there? How about that closing speed? Able to get to the outside part of the field and turn that play into a loss. On the run, this is J.K. Dobbins. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Brings up third and six. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. To throw is Jackson. And that is incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Jordan Facing Stout fourth down, Baltimore will punt Jordan Stout out there. Back deep for L.A. is Darius Davis. Fielded just inside the 20. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first-round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. It hasn't taken Herbert long to earn the status of one of the league's best and most entertaining passers. He's locked and loaded on every snap. And the second he sees an opening, the ball's soaring downfield. You've got to be on your A game at all times against him. The second you slip up, he's liable to burn you. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. 
So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an outer boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Second and ten. Herbert now. A little short pass. This is Everett. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Here is third down and four. They'll run for the first time with Austin Eckler. It's a gain of four, and it gets him the first. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. It's Eckler again. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 17-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. We're scoreless after one. Charger football to start quarter number two as they've got a second and eight forthcoming. Here's Herbert. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield with man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Back to throw here, Herbert. And he comes back with one complete. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Herbert. Yeah, he's got it. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. A six-yard pickup brings up second and goal at the one-yard line. Let's go. Eckler will take this into the end zone for a Charger touchdown. So that a great sequence for these guys to begin the ball game. They force the punt on one end, then come right down the field and score on the other. And that's a great example of leaning on each other and building a little momentum that way. How about the defense forcing the punt, turns it over to the offense with confidence, and they take it downfield and score. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. 
And the Chargers grab the 7 0 lead. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. Returning it, Hill. The dangerous Hill now to return. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. In motion left, Bateman. Now Jackson taps this forward, jet sweep. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there, and they'll go backwards right away. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, they, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses, and this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way down to the 42. 41 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries in the ball game. The ultimate speedster showing that speed in, this, in front of this home crowd. They love that. Made me stand up on that run because right now all I want to do is wave to the crowd. More noise, more noise. You got to reward him for that one. A big time monster run. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. He finds Bateman over the middle, and he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Jackson toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Throwing is Jackson. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. This defense hasn't let them in yet. They'll need to stiffen here. Third and goal from the two. From the gun, it's Jackson. And this is going to be incomplete. The L.A. defense up the snuff in coverage there. Pushes this to fourth down. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. Tucker's kick is good. So a conservative decision there, but it does put him on the board. 
And I know the players hate it, the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just gotta take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. set to kick it away from his end zone here's Darius Davis and he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27 the Chargers going to take over here one more time before the half and with a 7-3 lead we'll see how aggressive they want to be A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Justin Herbert looking to pass. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Now it's Herbert. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. First down, Justin Herbert. A little short pass. This is Everett. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be second down. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime intermission with the visiting Chargers on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. Okay, Coach. It was Austin yeah, Eckler who was the star of that first half. Big role in this he wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help so give his far. guys the advantage here at the break. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. 
Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. It's taken in by Quentin Johnston. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Palmer going to go in motion left. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. Oh, this one that may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Adafe Owe so quick, and he gets to him there behind the line. But that's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big, or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that, because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. Third and three. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 38-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. That's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Here's Herbert. Escaping the pressure right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. And wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. Like any team plan, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. And no move to get Herbert off the field. They're going for this. They snap it to Herbert. And Allen's got it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So a moment to catch our collective breath after the fourth down conversion. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and 10 inside the 30. A shotgun snap for Herbert. This is swung out to, oh no, he lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. All I can say about this play is a 
someone's living right. I mean, he's trying to gain yardage, trying to get upfield. Ball comes free. It was that panic that we've talked about oftentimes that you feel when you yeah, lose the ball. You can sense it. Oh, you can sense it. And somehow he got to it and was able to recover it for his squad. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. One well, of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. As I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive is eating up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. Got to tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Once more, here's Eckler. It'll be a minimum pickup, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Herbert now to throw. On the screen, this is Eckler. Touchdown, Chargers! Austin Eckler, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Chargers have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt-away-the-game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run-pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. This taken in at the goal line. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Jackson and the Ravens, here they come. Down by two touchdowns. A little under a minute 50 remaining. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. The drive will commence with a run by J.K. Dobbins. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. A big play here, third and two. Jackson. Dobbins with it. 
And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. A two timeout still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and 10. Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They'll come up now on second down. Jackson to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around. And I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Now Jackson. And that will be incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. They'll come up first and 10 here. Here's Jackson. Yet again, targeting and fighting Mark Andrews. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. He's got his man downfield. That's Bateman. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Let's go, fellas. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Here's first and goal. Throwing Jackson. And it's caught. He's got it for a late touchdown. Probably a little too late. It would take a miracle of epic proportions if they're going to pull this one off. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They had the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one to five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one to five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, uh, yeah. yeah, you know. It doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. So the onside kick will come with 17 seconds to play. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now, this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. Herbert to a knee, and that should just about write it into this one. Well, you really 
you can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining game throughout. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Baltimore, so long, everybody.